In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Fe2SO4-3 plus KOH. This is iron 3 sulfate plus potassium hydroxide. You'll often see this equation as FeSO4 plus KOH. If you need help balancing that net ionic equation, there's a link in the description. But here we'll do this iron 3 sulfate. So first off, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I'm going to start balancing the irons. I have two here and just one here. So I'll put two in front of the iron 3 hydroxide. Now I have two times these three hydroxides. I have six hydroxides. I'll put a six here. Now I have six of these potassiums. I'll put a three here. That gives me three sulfates, but I have three sulfates here. This is the balanced molecular equation. So after we have that, we can write the states for each substance. Iron 3 sulfate is an interesting compound here. Sulfates in general, they're soluble, but this is insoluble. It's actually slightly soluble, but for the purpose of our net ionic equation, we're going to say this is a solid. KOH, that's very soluble. This is a strong base. So in general, bases are insoluble, but when you have things like KOH or NaOH that are strong, those will dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Put an AQ. Potassium compounds and sulfates in general, very soluble. And then we have our hydroxide again. It's bonded to this transition metal. This is going to be a solid. So this will be our precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. And that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. So we can't split the solid apart here. So we're just going to put Fe2SO4-3. Potassium's in group one, so that'll be one plus and the whole hydroxide ion is one minus. So we have six potassium ions and we have six hydroxide ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have this positive here and the sulfate, the whole thing is two minus. So we have three times two. We have six potassium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we have three sulfate ions. And we don't split solids apart, so we'll have 2FeOH3. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. The only thing that's the same in our reactants here and in our products, that's those six potassium ions. So we got six potassium ions, cross those out, they're spectator ions. What's left, that's our net ionic equation for Fe2SO4-3 plus KOH. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron three sulfate plus potassium hydroxide. You'll note that charge is the same on both sides. We have six times one minus, that's six minus. Here in the products, we have three times two minus, that's six minus. So charge is the same. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Fe2SO4-3 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.